What's up everybody, it's your girl Sarah and I'm back with a new video and also a new wig. If this is the first time you've ever seen me on YouTube, hi, hello, and please don't forget to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscription button down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, I see you and thank you for your support. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can do so by following me on Sasmarie, so don't forget to do that. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a little review on the latest wig I have, which is by a company called ZLE or ZL, and I'm hoping I have not butchered the name, and if I have, please correct me. So to begin with, I'm going to share my phone screen up over here somewhere and just talk you through the units that I actually have on my head right now. So I have the ice unit. I have had this wig for like two weeks now, so I haven't done anything to it. These curls, um, they've just kind of started to loosen themselves, hence why this side of my hair kind of looks a bit more straight than this side. And also because I can't curl hair for shit, so I need to learn that if anything. So a little bit about the wig that I have. So the wig name is Ice, as I've previously mentioned. The material is pure Cambodian human hair, and I've only ever ordered Brazilian hair when I've ordered my wigs online. So this is the first time I've ever had this material. And so far it's Oh, it's so light and like nice. It's so luxurious feeling, so soft. The length um, is 22 inches and that's what I have. I am five foot seven, so I'm quite tall and quite skinny. So on me, if I stand, it comes up to probably almost near the top of my hips. Um, and behind, if I can, that's how it looks there. Hair density is 180%, so it's a nice amount. This is a perfect amount for me. Cap construction is lace front wig, so again, if you're new to it, it just simply means the front is only a few inches where it's lace, which means you can actually style it however you want, part it everywhere you want, and it will just look like your scalp, basically. And the rest of the wig at the back is just um, tracks, basically. I've always gone for full lace ones, so they're a bit more lighter on, on your head, like less heavy in a sense, and I'm not, this isn't a, it's not a bad thing at all. It's just how lace front wigs are because you can, the tracks are obviously a bit more heavy. So the hair color, obviously, oh, hair naturals, the hair, na na <laughs> the hair natural texture is straight. So the hair color is silver, I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh God, I'm not gonna even try. Silver and dark roots. I don't even think it looks kind of lilac or anything. You know when you get hair colors that kind of look lilac in the, um, what do you call it? In the daylight, in the sun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just like a really clean cut grey silver wig. The roots aren't as dark as I... I don't know, like, I've had darker roots basically, but that isn't a bad thing, that isn't a negative about this wig at all. It's a nice dark slash slightly light root, if that makes sense. Lace colour transparently, as much as any skin colour. Um, I kind of would say it does, for me anyway, I'm obviously the skin colour I am, <laughs> but yeah, I think it is quite transparent compared to other wigs I've had before where I've physically like chosen a colour for the lace so then it would match my skin tone better. Glueless, yes. Um, elastic banding clips, yes. Silk top, no. Wig life, one to three years, that's very standard for a wig um, of human hair. Cap size, I've ordered small because my head is small. And the ZLE or ZL signature hairline, yes. So far, I'm loving this wig and I'm so, so happy I have got one. So I'll quickly show you a pre-recorded clip that I've done just to show you how the wig came straight out of the box so you kind of get a best idea of how the construction of it is and everything like that. white balance is going to go a bit crazy on this but this is the box it comes in it's a really nice box um, with their like logo on the front there the wig does come in this really lovely like bag it's a zip front on here and I think that's really good for traveling you do get a wig cap you get two pieces in it I've already opened it but um yeah you get two free wig caps in there and also 
the little leaflet that comes with it to help you look after your wig and tips and tricks on how to put it on and all that jazz. I've only had it for two weeks so far but it has held up very well. The material is not cheap, none of the design is cheap and it's definitely worth the money. So now lastly a bit more of a closer look at the wig around the hairline. Um, this is obviously the main part of the wig that everyone's obviously like bothered about so yeah this is how the hairline is this is how it's parted and this is how it became when i got it and um, i would say there's not that many baby hairs kind of on it at the front and i don't know maybe in my other wigs i've kind of had a bit more so i felt like i could blend it a bit better but it's not the worst and i think maybe it's just me trying to get used to it obviously um so that's how it looks down the middle there on the sides this is how it looks and then on the other side as well so if you were wanting to put it up or anything like that or just part and like have a bit more of an open hairstyle you can easily achieve it i'd say so that's it for today's video i hope you found it useful and also enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye